Look, y'all. My custom keeper had a baby. <laughs> Isn't it cute? <laughs> okay, if you have not already seen these in, the, uh, in my Etsy store, these uh, junior versions are now available. And um, there may be just a few left because it seems like as soon as I list them, they're gone, which and I'm not complaining. It's a great problem to have, but we are constantly making more. By we, I mean me and Jason. We are down on the kitchen floor cutting and fusing and stringing these things all the time and especially on weekends. So don't panic if you go to buy and they're gone. There will be more. I have more vinyl on the way, so don't worry about that. Um, these little guys hold, and let me find a piece of paper, an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. Come on, there we go. Okay, if you have like half of an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper, this is what fits in here. You fold it in half again, and that is the size. Oh, these, okay, this is a sneak peek into something new I'm working on. I'm not really, I don't know, I'm not excited about doing inserts for these yet. You know, I may later on, but right now, that's, that's just not floating my boat. I like the loose leaf aspect. And, but look at these little, um, like, dividers for your loose leaf pages. And these are, um, these are scraps, my prototypes, but it is a single piece of vinyl, not too fused together, so they're not heavy like this, but it has hand-painted paper fused to it, or it has these exotic papers, you know, cool uh, printed papers, and I've also been doing fabric, <laughs> like if it sits still, I am out there fusing it to vinyl, <laughs> basically. So um, I'm thinking is, you know, I have to get a collection of stuff to put on them to make these cool decorative covers or dividers, or I'm not really sure what to call them, uh, whatever. But, you know, I could sell them in packs of four because the custom keepers hold four signatures. So, you know, they could be like themed packs of four maybe in both sizes. I don't know. Those are things I'm working on. And if y'all have ideas for other things, let me know, because I am in full-on mad scientist mode right now. And, um, yeah, I'm just all about inventing stuff. <laughs> so let's invent stuff together. You know, we, we often talk about how, oh gosh, I'm just getting so bored with what's out there. You know, we need something new, something different. Well, instead of waiting for someone to come up with something new and different, let's just do it ourselves. We'll just make it up ourselves, okay? Okay, let's do that. So, in that same vein, I'm also thinking about doing some journals. Now, these could also be inserts, but, okay, here's my thing with the inserts. I am not all about wanting to make printed pages like calendars or, or lined pages. That's not... I don't know. That does not appeal to me at this point. I think because there's already so many really good ones out there. And it'd be really easy to do a downloadable, you know, print it yourself thing. I, I'm just not feeling it. But I am feeling something like this. And whether it's blank paper or some other cool paper that I source, oh, wouldn't it be fun to do like actual real vintage papers in these? Yeah, I'm going to have to see if I can find some of those. But anyway, you know, these journals could be inserts or standalone journals, and they're done the same way those little divider things were, just taking hand-painted or hand-decorated papers and fusing them to the vinyl. So, you know, you've got the reclaimed vinyl on the inside, which sometimes has weird printing on it, and sometimes doesn't. But then you get the cool hand-painted paper on the outside. And there might be some fabrics, too, because this works well with fabric. And these are kind of wonky because I made them here at home with, you know, just what I had. I don't have the right equipment to do what I want to do yet. <laughs> but I figure, come up with the idea first, you know, see if I get any feedback on that idea, and then think about investing in the equipment to do it well. Because <laughs> that is one thing that we're really... Um, it's really important to us is that we do this well, even though it's recycled, reclaimed, junk journal type things, there's no reason for it to be 
trashy in a poorly made way. You know, keep the trashy part to the, the, the reclaimed, upcycled inserts and decorations and what you do with it, but make sure it has good bones. That's what I'm trying to say. You got good bones to start with, and then however you junk it up, totally up to you, but it's not junk to start with. I don't know why I went off on that tangent, but I just really did, didn't I? Okay, you want to see some other sneak peeks what I'm working on? Okay, these need some tweaking, but look. File folders. Oh, and inside this file folder are all the potential sizes <laughs> of covers that I can make. <laughs> and I'm thinking about offering custom sizes at some point. You need a size? Give me your measurements. I'll make it for you. Yeah, someday. We'll see. But, uh-huh, they make really kind of cool file folders. Now, these are not something that, you know, you wouldn't want to put, you wouldn't want to carry these around with you because they're heavy. They're substantial. But they are very cool for keeping, you know, your art stuff or um, other things. I don't know what use they are, but I just love them. I love the way they feel. And then another thing, grab bags of scraps. Because that's another thing that I'm just adamant about is not accumulating a bunch of scrap material. And it's just part and parcel for how we're making these. I'm going to get scraps. And a lot of them are these skinny strips like this. But I found that if I just trim them up, you know, kind of neat and, and tidy-like, they would just make perfect little embellishments or art tiles. I'm wondering if you can put resin on these. Hmm, guess what I'm going to try to do? I bet you could. You can make really cool art tiles out of them because, you know, they're sturdy. They'll hold up to pretty much anything you can do to them. But, yeah, I think grab bags of these, just like a big Ziploc baggie full for next to nothing. You pay the shipping. Everybody wins, right? Okay, so y'all be thinking about what you can do with these scraps. And... Then I'm also thinking about some premium items, you know, like hand-painted or hand-decorated covers, like this one, and maybe even some that you can buy special with maybe special papers inside, I don't know yet, and then a special bag, which I made out of a scrap of canvas, and then some elastic that I accidentally ordered in the wrong size, so that worked. <laughs> and then... This is a lovely um, vinyl custom keeper that I painted with alcohol inks, and it just worked great. It was beautiful. And here's what I did. I tried it at first with Sharpies. <laughs> that didn't work. <laughs> that didn't work in a big way. So I flipped it over and went with alcohol inks, and that worked. So wouldn't that be a cool thing to do? And, and I mean, you can do this yourself, or I may actually do some myself and then offer them up for those who don't want to mess with alcohol inks themselves because they messy, right? In the inside, I just took apart a magazine and folded it up and put it in there just so I'd have something on the inside, right? So, yeah, these are um, more options that I'm working on. And what I would like to hear from you is what else? What else can we do with this vinyl? Y'all help me brainstorm. Give me some ideas. What, what would you like to see? Is there something out there that's missing and you would like to, to see it happen? You know, like a brand new something? I don't know what that would be. It, it kind of feels like everything's already been done. You know, do you feel that way? I kind of do. But maybe we can do it in a better, more efficient, and definitely more economical way. So what else can we do? Y'all give me some ideas. Um, and, you know, if, if, as far as sizes go, I've got that covered. Uh, I'm not going to start making all those different sizes yet. I have to make sure that these are actually going to appeal to more than just my little circle of influence. Because once I've saturated my little circle of influence, then that will be the true test. That way I will know if this is something that is going to appeal to a lot of people or, you know, just, just my little circle of friends. It's hard to tell at this point. But I'm open to exploring that and more options. So let's brainstorm together and think up some more things that we can do 
with this very cool vinyl because I really love it. I love working with it. I love uh, testing it and, and seeing what it will hold up to. Oh, and you know what I also discovered? It will hold up to even the post office. I mean, how many times have you received your mail in a body bag, right? And then the stuff inside is just torn to shreds. <laughs> One of my um, custom keepers arrived to the customer that way. It, you know, had the envelope had just been demolished by the post office but guess what custom keeper was unscathed <laughs> so it is now officially post office proof as well as tear proof blotter proof heat proof and all that other proof stuff that it is so uh, that's it that is all i have for today y'all let me know if you have any ideas comments feedback whatever and um, we will see what else we can come up with to um, use in our uh, junk journals and, and uh, planners and paper crafting in general because that's what I'm all about. I really love that. Okay, that's all I have for you. The end. <laughs>